Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and like usual, I'm just going to play the intro clip here. Anyway, um, today I'm going to be showing you guys a bit <coughs> about um, image preloading and um, just some uh, just some image work with JavaScript. So I'm just going to open up. Um, here we are, JS images. So I've just created this um, script here, and pretty much all it does is it takes the <coughs> it loads a file where the files in the current directory and converts them to base64. So I'm so as you can see here, you can actually um, you know convert the binary or whatever to base64 and embed it into a page. Normally, I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this normally if you don't want to use JavaScript to do this. <coughs> you can just go like image, right, and go screen or whatever equals image, and then you put your base64 here. Or if you want to use this with um, style sheets, just go style, um, whatever, and then you go background. Or you, you can do background image or whatever. I'm just going to do background and just say URL and you put your base64 here. Um, I haven't done much efficiency testing with it. I have a feeling that it's not overly efficient, but whatever. I guess it depends on the browser and it's not exactly a, a really common thing to use anymore. So I don't know how well the support is. Anyway, I'm just going to run this script here to show you some of the output. Right, I have two images right now. And right, get your images all in base64. And all you got to do is copy it all and put it into um, a file. I'm just going to paste it here. Come on, piece of shit. Load. Um, one of the downsides of this is that the image files are going to be slightly bigger, but if you've done oh, any efficiency testing with websites and stuff, you'll know that most of the time taken to load the site isn't always from um, the size of the files, but rather the number of the files. So if you have like 50 images or something, um, this will actually reduce the loading time quite a bit. But at the same time you're loading all of the images at once so you know whatever um, this can also be used to reduce bandwidth right because you just cache it but um, at the same time if you update your images a lot um, it'll increase your bandwidth quite a bit anyway I'm just going to save this somewhere um, javascript or gs examples I'm going to call this JavaScript, or sorry, images.javascript. Okay, I'm just going to create a new file here to show you guys how to do it all. Uh, okay, I'm just going to save this quickly first. Um, let's call this JavaScript. Reloading. <coughs> so you just uh, import the JavaScript, right? Ah. Okay. Um, images. Yes. Right, and then um, to use it, you just create another script here. say um which is actually image we'll just use image image id equals image stuff or whatever you want to call it however you want to get it 
right? And then you just go um, event.get elements by id image stuff dot um, src, right? Equals um, images and it's called galaxy. Whatever. Right, so this is why I'm worried because you're the actual value of this is all of that base 64 code, so I don't know how efficient this is, but, you know, it works. Right. <coughs> okay. Right, there you go, the image is loaded up there. Sort of hard to see in the corner over there. So, um, you know, this is pretty good to do with large images. You don't actually have to use JavaScript as I showed you. Um, if you want to use um, style sheets, <coughs> if you're going to be using the image multiple times, I suggest you use style sheets because I'm a bit worried about the efficiency of just. Um, uh, giving it the image screen, right? Because it's transferring over um, that entire uh, base 64 bit or whatever from the looks of it. I have no idea what um, what uh, sort of caching is put into, you know, the whole thing. So for all I know, you could be duplicating the image uh, many times, right? And uh, I'll show you an example of it in, in actual use. Right, so all of the images here are preloaded, but it lags quite a bit. Um, I haven't figured out why yet, because it's all the same image and whatever. But I suspect it has to do with um, the whole uh, image preloading thing, and I think it's making a copy of the image each time or something. So I'm gonna um, try using style sheets and to use style. I showed you guys how to use style sheets. So, um, yeah. With style sheets, you don't actually need to use uh, JavaScript. It's actually sort of pointless to use JavaScript with preloading if you're using the style sheets, right? So, uh, whatever. You, I'll just show you an example if you wanted to use the style sheets. So, just gonna close that there. Uh, I have no idea if that will work because my browser goes all screwed. Hopefully that should run. I'm just gonna run that to make sure. Oh no, it doesn't work. I just you know do it the hard way. So um, documents dot write. style. And uh, images. Let's see. Oops. And you don't need to use it in an array. You can always just do images dot galaxy. <coughs> but uh, you know, whatever. See, and then you just go um, image. Oh, whatever. Called div. And I'll just put two of them in there, for example, and um, give it a height parameter. Yeah, there you go. See? Ta da. 
And you can always do your standard no repeat. Anyway though, um, I'm not sure again, this might not be very efficient because I haven't done any efficiency testing on it. I suspect though that it might be pretty laggy if you're using very large images because of um, how JavaScript works with its whole strings, right? Because it has to create this entire string before it can just, um, you know, put the image in. So that's why I'm a bit worried. I don't think that it's actually creating um, a reference or a pointer to the image here for the SRC, right? If you're using the base 64. <coughs> anyway, um, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog. I'll be doing some more work on image preloading. And hopefully, I can get some tests done to do, <coughs> do the efficiency. But overall, on its own, right now, it'll save you floating time. And um, if you want a working example that you can see for yourself, just go to the Galaxy Online Design Viewer that I created. And it's the perfect example of preloading images. So, uh, in the case of the Design Viewer, it loads about 200 or so images and it caches them. As you can see, I can just refresh and it caches them for the most part. Right? Yaddy yaddy. Anyway, um, this is Hot Noob. Come check out my blog, hotnoob.com.